Amanda was five months old. Um, she was in the back of the car, and I looked. In, I was waiting at the bus stop with my son, and she start. I just saw her shaking. It was a tonic-clonic, full-blown grandma, um, which went on for about 45 minutes. We didn't even know what they were at first. They thought maybe it was reflux until we did an EEG. And ever since then, Olivia's had seizures. She's had seizures all but 14 days since she was two months old. In our day-to-day -day lives, there's not one minute where we can take our eyes off of him. It's kind of like always waiting and watching for an emergency to happen. You're always ready just in case. Um, and it leads to a certain amount of stress and tension and um, anxiety just with everyone in the house. Amanda is on her eighth medicine right now. Um, she's actually on three at, the, at this current time. Um, she's also been on the ketogenic diet for seven and a half years, which is a highly restrictive, highly fat, um, low carbohydrate diet, which is, I think that's the most effective treatment so far. Oliver has tried almost 20 different medications. Um, the side effects have been absolutely horrible. He's had side effects where his blood stopped clotting, he almost died. Um, he's had side effects where he's put into almost like a coma-like state. Um, he's had side effects with aggressive behavior or hitting himself. Um, his organs have damage from the side effects of these medications. None of them controlled his seizures. Um, she was evaluated for brain surgery where they would have disconnected the entire left side of her brain. Um, but because she has seizures that come from both sides of her brain, they did not feel like she was a candidate for surgery at all. Based on what I'm seeing from around the country, medical marijuana is helping so many children, just like Oliver, who have not responded to the traditional medications. And I think that we shouldn't be denied access to trying that because of where we live. Medical marijuana is, um, you know, something that has given us hope um, right now because we know we've tried all the best therapies, drugs, surgical options that are available to kids like Olivia, we literally have no, nothing left. Um, we know from other families that have uh, the same diagnosis, kids with the same diagnosis as Olivia, they're having reportedly great success, seeing 75 plus percent reduction in their seizures. Um, and in addition to that, they're having developmental gains that as a parent, you know, when you have a child who at best functions at a three month old level, I mean, at the end of the day, as much as I want to stop the seizures, I really want a chance to get to know my daughter better. I would love for anybody who opposes this bill to come spend an hour or two in my home with us and sit there and watch Oliver have seizure after seizure, watch the torment that goes on on a daily basis in my home. Spend a couple of hours with us and with the, the equipment that we're forced to have, with the treatments that we're forced to give him constantly, and then tell me that you don't think that he's worth having access to this. Take a look at our life, take a look at all the videos of our kids seizing and just realize that you can help it. It's not something that's going to make them high. Um, it's going to help our children stop the suffering. My faith in democracy has really been rattled with all of this because we live in a state where the overwhelming majority of people want this and the people that we have elected are not listening to us. And I cannot understand how that is possible. I want to be like the other kids. I want to eat real food and I want to get up this medicine. Our kids don't have time to wait. You can help us. Call your district senator and our Senate leadership and tell them it is time to pass the Compassionate Care Act.